Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and I wanted to go over some of the advanced features and some of the new features of the OneKey Pro cryptocurrency hardware wallet from OneKey. And just let you know, they're having a 10% sale starting today, August 20th, leading to the end of August, August 31st. So if you want to get 10% off, you can use my exclusive link for a 10% discount on the OneKey Pro and any other of the OneKey products. Now, I've already done an unboxing and setup video for the OneKey Pro. I'll put a link to that in the description and up in the corner. I've also done uh, setup videos for some of their other products as well, if you're interested in any of those. But I did want to go over the OneKey Pro. Now, I really love this wallet. I love this beautiful color touchscreen. Very easy to read, very nice to look at. And uh, they sent me a special one uh, with my uh, little picture on the back of it. So I really cherish this uh, wallet that they provided for me. So they've added some new features recently. One of them is SignGuard, which is a transaction check when you're doing swaps on your device within the OneKey Pro app. And I'm gonna demonstrate that to you. But there's also some additional settings on the device itself that I'd like to tell you about. And I'll just go over those quickly. All right, so when we look on the device itself, um, I've already connected it and unlocked it. So we can go into the settings here. Uh, one of their newer features is air gap mode. You can use this as an air gap wallet if you want to. Uh, it's a little bit more for advanced users because you have to scan QR codes when you're uh, signing transactions. But for those of you who want to stay super secure and love air gap, um, I would recommend trying this out. Uh, also, uh, I think I've shown you this before, but you can switch your home screen, which is really nice on this beautiful screen. Uh, in the security, you can randomize your keyboard if you want to. Um, it does make it a little more difficult uh, because the numbers keep shifting every time you punch one in, but uh, is really a super secure feature. You, of course, got the uh, fingerprint reader over here on the side. I've already got mine set up which makes it really easy to authorize the device. And then it does some address safety checks. So uh, one of the newer things that they have here uh, is a uh, check recovery phrase. This is really essential when it comes down to setting up a hardware wallet. Uh, your lifeline is your backup phrase. And if you've written it down incorrectly, uh, when the time comes to do a restore, you're going to be disappointed if you wrote some of your words down incorrectly. So having the check recovery phrase setting here so that you can do your due diligence um, is essential for uh, crypto hardware wallet security. After you've set up your device, you can go into this check recovery phase and then you choose the number of words and you enter all of the words from your sheet that you've written down. Um, of course, this is safe and secure. It's happening directly on the device. And the device will check that backup phrase and confirm that all of those words that you wrote down were correct. So like I said, that's essential due diligence when you're setting up a hardware wallet. Uh, they also have added some great passphrase features here. You can enable a passphrase. You'll have a passphrase uh, that you'll enter when you enter the app. And um, you have to be very careful with this because if you forget your passphrase, you'll lose as access to your crypto. There's no way that one key can uh, reset your device to gain access to the passphrase configuration. Uh, they even allow you to um, attach a secondary pin to your passphrase so that uh, you have plausible deniability. You can have your... Uh, you can have a configuration with uh, a reasonable amount of crypto in there uh, when you enter one pin, and then you can have a secondary pin that you'll enter when you want to access your passphrase configuration. So that helps quite a bit uh, with your security. Um, it's great when your hardware wallet is uh, secure and tamper-proof, but if uh, someone is performing a $10 wrench attack on you, is threatening you in person, to open up your device, then having that secondary pin is that extra little amount of security that will get you out of a bad situation.
it's great that they have all of these features. And so you can check your uh, addresses for your crypto directly on the device. If you want to send Bitcoin directly into the device without even using the app and just getting your address directly from the device, you can do that uh, with an address or even a QR code. So that's great as well. So, but the device is really much more powerful when paired up with the uh, OneKey app. Uh, so I'm going to show you some features of the OneKey app. So I have the OneKey app for Windows. Uh, it's a great app and uh, has a lot of features and functionality. So you can, uh, of course, view your balance up here. Uh, you can manage your individual cryptocurrencies that you have stored on the device. You can, of course, add more. They support hundreds of layer one chains and literally thousands of tokens as well. So uh, you can see I've got some already on here, but if I wanted to add one, like say ADA, I can just add support for ADA on the device. And that holds for all of the hundreds and thousands of tokens that they support. Now, what I really like is that you can manage more than one device. So uh, I showed you my OneKey Pro, but if we go up here to the account information and click on that, you can see that I also have a one key classic one S pure. Um, and then, uh, I can manage those within the same app. So if I want to switch over to the one key classic, I'll just hit that and then, uh, click on the account. And now, uh, my balance and my interface change. So I can manage crypto on more than one device within the same copy of the one key app. So we'll go back over here to our one key pro. And I wanted to do a swap and show you uh, how much information you see on your screen when you're performing a swap. So I have some US dollar coin in here. That's Ethereum based. So I'm going to do a swap. So we can go over here to trade. And uh, you've got several features here too. You can swap. Uh, on the same chain, uh, or you can bridge between other chains. Uh, you can actually do limit trades, which is uh, kind of interesting for a self-custody wallet. So if we uh, get that US dollar coin balance and then choose a coin that we're after, like for example, Ondo, um, I'll just click Ondo. And then I'll say I want to buy uh, $50 worth of Ondo. And now we're ready to do our swap. So it's checking uh, for the best price on uh, decentralized exchanges. So we've got the OKX DEX. And then you can even use some other ones if you're interested, like uh, one inch, zero X, or cow swap. All of their uh, DEXs are. Uh, non KYC. So you can trade cryptocurrency uh, with full anonymity. You don't have to go through any uh, KYC checks when you're using OneKey Pro within the OneKey app and you're using these decentralized exchanges. So, uh, but let's go through uh, what you see on your screen uh, when you make a trade. So we'll hit review here. And then it wants us to confirm on the device. All right, so I can show you the screen over here. We'll hit confirm on the device. And uh, what you're going to see on the device is the uh, transaction detail. All right, and uh, if you hit this little button here, you'll see even more information. So it's got a great breakdown of every little thing that you need to know about this trade, where it's starting, where it's going to, uh, the all of the fees, that you're and the gas that you're going to have to pay for this transaction. We'll hit continue here. And then uh, if we want to swap or confirm, we'll just slide over and our transaction is signed. And then we can go back and we can see the transaction over here. Ugh, okay. All right. It's telling me that I don't have enough, enough Ethereum in my wallet. Um, I forgot to put a little bit of Ethereum in the wallet for my gas fees, uh, but you can see how much uh, great information that they're showing you when you make these swaps. 
And the, the error message was very clear. It explained exactly what was wrong. It didn't just give me a failed. It told me, yeah, hey, you need some Ethereum in this wallet in order for this trade to go through. So um, I can, I'll put a little Ethereum in there. And there it is. So uh, now I've got some Ethereum in the wallet. Let's go back and do that swap again. We'll go over here to trade. We'll stick with swap. We still got that same swap lined up. All right, so we'll go ahead and do this. Uh, we need to refresh the quote since it's been a couple of minutes. All right, now we'll do that review again. Confirming on the device itself. All right, there's that information again, all those details that we want to see. The great stuff. We'll hit continue. Um, I'm going to slide to sign. The transaction was signed. And now you can see here on the uh, one key app that the transaction is going through. Oh, I have one more confirmation. All right, so uh, there I'm sending the uh, gas fees. I've also got uh, a detailed transaction here of what's going on again. So hit confirm, the slide, and now we've submitted that transaction, that swap. All right, we can even view this on the uh, Ethereum Explorer if we want to. It's going to take it a few minutes to actually uh, confirm on the chain. So be patient. Ah, okay, and there we go. Uh, let's go this to the Explorer again. And there we go. We've got a successful transaction. Let's go back to the one key app. And we can go back to our main wallet. And notice that I don't see the Ondo yet uh, because I haven't uh, added it as a token to be managed. So I'll go over here to Manage Token. I'll choose Ondo. And uh, then I'll just add Ondo. And then we can go back. And there it is. So... Um, little uh, primer there on doing swaps, managing tokens, and uh, making sure you have enough Ethereum in your uh, wallet for the gas fees. It's a very important to, thing to know about. So as I mentioned, OneKey is having a, a sale. If you use my link, they're going to give you 10% off uh, the purchase of any of their devices. This goes from August 20th uh, to the end of the month, uh, August 31st. So take advantage of that when you have a chance. And if you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered.